Okay, this is a January the 4th, 2018. Today is the Friday. Uh, I have not had a case like this yet. I have not had, in other words, and it's important to log the time here because this is what the time is right now. As you see right now, it's about a 10 o'clock exactly because I have not had in my life I have not experienced anything like this that I would have a law enforcement uh, insisting on domestic violence. And this exactly is the case here in Poland. Uh, about three months ago I had a incident. I was attacked by individual from Minsk, a KGB individual from Minsk and another individual, a Chechen, who is a relative from Kadyrov, actually a re relative, was stationed in immigration center near Grotniki, that's near city, second biggest city in Poland, a uh, city known as Wuch, with about 30 Russian families. They are like, uh, we are from Chechnya, uh, but the thing about it is that uh, Kadyrov is also from Chechnya uh, and these people had a conflict with me already from the day A. They would not let me be. So um, beside their displaying uh, like a Muslim uh, religion which is very doubtful I would say their whereabouts are very doubtful but probably they are uh, they all are they all have another common thing they are uh, Russians all of them today at 8:30 in the evening when I did return from the library however uh, this individual with whom I have mentioned individual from Minsk was relocated from I don't know in which room he was uh, because this individual he would move from one room to another he had like a special I don't know privileges he had a room to himself over there and another individual then he was in the room with other people and so on and so forth they would relocate him into my room and I was relocated away so there would not be a physical conflict, a physical confrontation, another one, because I did also request it for the police three months ago. And so there are 44 apartment units here, at least, I think. And uh, the owner of this place, about whom I have just spoken in a video that concerned food, food poisoning, radiation and that type of stuff, uh, individual is very affiliated with the Russians um, seems to have just uh, not only disregarded my pleas to get a room for myself as you know I was placed with, an, with another church in Russian who caused uh, more destruction with his bodies and so on and, uh, what's interesting is the police would not assist I am receiving a phone call but I don't know hello 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 this is the emergency, is the emergency line you called on a few minutes ago uh huh uh, going. uh yeah I did I did call you guys uh, a few minutes ago I, I did yeah, and, and, we, we, I, and uh, I spoke with my colleague who spoke with you and uh, we are wondering why you called emergency line. I did call emergency line because I did experience emergency situation, sir. Uh, today, uh, an individual no. with whom I have had a physical uh, conflict listen, three months... Listen, emergency line is uh, for situations which are taking place now. Right. What is going on now? What is no, going on? Okay. What is going on yes. right now exactly. is okay. What is going on right now is that there is pretty damn cold outside, and I just happened no place to have that I could go. 
Um, but what you, you said it's cold outside. Yeah. So you are inside. I am practically inside. I was practically thrown out of the out of the apartment uh, out of the studio uh, which Polish immigration have uh, assigned me to. Uh, practically thrown out because uh, well, practically thrown out because an individual. No, no, who, no, no, no. Listen, the, the question is very simple. You said by the Polish police, out. sir. No, by the no, Polish listen, police. Listen, listen. The the answer was uh, very listen, simple. Listen, the question was simple. Listen, the answer no, was very stop, simple. Please stop. Please stop. I will ask you a question. You said. It's called outside. So you are inside. Inside of what kind of building, place? Uh, I am right now at an immigration center in Grotniki. And okay, right so, now so, I am located... So are, there, there, are, there, there is a service. There are people who speak in English, in Polish. There is a service. No, that's exactly what is them. not. Speak with them. Uh, this is not the case, sir. This is just your assumption. You have made an assumption right now. Uh, you don't allow me no, to no, talk. No, no. I ask questions. You give me answers. So if you are in a in an immigration place in Grotniki, so you you're in some kind of place. You have place to live. No, so I do not have the place. Line, line? I'm sorry. So why you're calling the emergency line? If you are because in because center. I wanted to report emergency situation. I have an okay. incident. So what kind of situation is it? Well, the situation is that the owner of this place have transferred an individual with whom I have had a domestic dispute. We had a physical confrontation. Uh, individual is from Russia. I am from Slovenia. I have filed political asylum against Russia, against the Serbia. And this individual with whom I had this physical confrontation three months ago was transferred today into the room, uh, my room, where I am basically staying. And, and to avoid a physical confrontation with him, of course, I will not go inside of that room. So when you do the stuff like this, uh, the police was also called three months ago, uh, you are actually saying to me that I don't have the right to go inside of the room. There are 44 other rooms here, and this individual was deliberately transferred to my room on what your police, okay, okay, on what okay. the Polish police refused to even contact owner of the building, uh, so they would prevent a possible, um, you know, escalation from what was what happened three months ago. That is not normal to me, sir. So this is okay, emergency okay. because I don't have a no, place no, no. to go. No, it, it is not. It is not. You're completely wrong. I, I understand the situation, uh -huh. but okay. if, you, if you are in immigration center, there is some kind of service. There are Polish people inside. Uh, there must be someone. No, this is where the problem is. There is a security here and there is a building employee, which both of these people have refused to assist me. That's one thing. Okay, so, and so, the so second there, thing so that is, is more important is, than that. No, no, no. So there is someone. You're in the place. You have place to stay. I know there is a problem. You've got some Russian person in your room in which you cannot sleep now. But it's not my job to give you another room. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is really, really, really not your job. But This, one, this thing is not my job. But because, really... Because it, it lasts in a time. You had a time to speak with someone who owns this place. If you through this, you said three months, and now you're calling us while you have a person in your room which you cannot sleep with. No, no, no! You no. did not understood me very well, sir. I did, I, I did, I did, I did, and I don't want to listen again to this history. No, you did not you're, understood. You're the, listen, you're in the immigration center. Yes, I am. Speak with people who you can talk to. Not with us. I will not give you another place in this immigration center. It's not my job. No, you you did if not. The, if there, listen, if, you know where, where where my job starts? When you have you have a quarrel with this guy or with someone else. Yes, or, and or I or did have. I had with three, him. You, no, we had the fight. Had, you 
we had a fight, we had a physical confrontation. Three months ago. I was assaulted by this individual three months Listen. ago yes. and okay. transferred to another room. Okay. I was transferred was, to another room three, three months, ago. months ago. It was three months ago. Exactly. Right. Not now. Not five minutes ago and not 15 minutes ago. But three months ago. I don't understand Do your you? point. I was transferred. I was transferred to another room. You have to start to listen to me, because because I've got a feeling that you understand. You hear only what you say, what you are saying, not what I am saying. You had a physical contact, as you said, three months ago, but not now. So what's going on now? In this minute, in this hour. Okay, in this minute, I am laughing. I have to apologize. I am laughing because. Uh, your logic is like, uh, it would be like, maybe this would apply <laughs> maybe to a five, six, seven year old, okay? Oh, thank, but you, thank you, thank you very much that you're insulting me. I'm a, I'm a polite person. Actually, so you have insult insulted you. me. You have insulted no, me. I, I, I did I not insult you. I, I'm speaking with you. No, and no. I've got a feeling that, that you... No, 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 no. There's no, nothing uh, going on. I, I, yeah. You want to be with in another room. I had, no, the thing is that one thing I have to say that uh, when you gestured, what you gestured was very inappropriate, you know the law. Uh, and I am adult, I am over 18, and I would be like I would like to be treated as an adult, not as a child. That's for one thing. Okay, I, I, I'll give you um, the last chance. To okay. Tell you what kind <laughs> of help you need? Well, this is this is exactly uh, why I called your number, sir. Uh, when you don't, okay, when you are basically start, thrown. No, no, I'm just saying when you are basically when you are thrown out of your uh, place, out of your unit, which immigration have assigned to you, uh, then I don't know. I have no idea. You're supposed to be on a safe place, no? Isn't that a case when you apply for a political asylum? How can how am I in the safe place when I had a physical confrontation a with a KGB individual? <laughs> no, no, no. You 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 just you just wouldn't listen, sir. I had a physical confrontation. <laughs> I had a physical confrontation with this individual three months ago, with him and with another Russian individual. This individual just really happens to be a police officer. Even a police officer, he was a police officer, but really is a KGB careersman from Minsk, from Belarus, who was involved in some other stuff against me too. That doesn't matter right now. What matters is I was assaulted by these people. I have requested transfer to another room. I was transferred to another room three months ago. Uh, and now I... Just I returned back from the library at 8.30 and I have encountered this individual inside of the room <laughs> who supposedly would become uh, again my roommate. And because I am over age 18, uh, I have and would like to be treated as such. Uh, never mind even what I came to Poland to ask for. I have requested police. Uh, which are specialized in public assistance. They did appear here, but they would not take an initiative to contact owner of this place uh, to simply accommodate this individual another room. Uh, I did not create an incident. Uh, somebody else did. Owner of this place did. I don't know who did. And it's an incident they have created, and I would like that incident, incident to be resolved. That's why I have called the police, so they could assist me in that. Again, not, a pub, not an employee here of this place and not a security would want to assist me in any way with owner, with his telephone number. In fact, this incident was deliberately cr created on Friday, so I would wait until Monday, and so on and so forth. Um, I have no place to go, really, sir, unless you want me to go inside of that uh, unit and have a physical confrontation with this individual. I mean, I don't know how you do it in Poland, but usually 
uh, in European Union or in United States, what they do is uh, public servants, what they do is police officers, they exist to prevent their specially, they're specialized in domestic violence and stuff like that. Now, how the hell is that safe uh, by placing individual that I had incident with three months ago, physical incident, confrontation, inside of the room again with me. I am a journalist, I work as a journalist, I write articles, uh, I have a very case, very heavy case, legal case against the Russia myself. I am from Slovenia, it's a case against the Russia, it's a case against the Serbia, and uh, how the hell can I be safe when I am when individual, the KGB individual is relocated inside of the room, how can this not be emergency? I don't have a place to go. Uh, I should just be what outside on a snow freeze or what exactly? How what what? How do you see it as an emergency? I mean, this is not a ma matter for a public officer. I mean, uh, listen, uh, listen uh, uh, maybe fifty percent of what you said is your opinion and uh, oh, okay. is fact. Uh, <laughs> Second of all, you said there are, you said, listen, I, I gave you a few minutes to uh, tell it once again, and it's the same uh, what you said at the beginning. Uh, okay, there, so there you are, did understand, and you're just listen, pretending listen, you don't listen, understand. Listen, okay, please, that's, those are two different give things. Me to, give, please give me a chance sure. to tell you a few mm -hmm. words, okay? Please. I'm polite. Please be polite too. Please listen to me as <laughs> I've listened to you. Okay. I am listening. Okay. I don't... So listen. Go ahead, sir. And, 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 and again, you're starting to talk. Okay, maybe maybe the other way. Could you give me your name and your star name? Uh, my name is Bustian, and my last name is Ausitz. That would be B-O-S-T-J-A-N, and the last name would be A-V-S-E-C. Okay, and so could you give me the uh, correct address of this place? Uh, it is. The address here is Ostronie, 29. Yes. It would be near Grotniki. I know where it is. Good. Okay, uh, so uh, please, uh, first of all, stay in this place. Don't go to the room, as you said, where this Russian uh, guy uh, is uh, accommodated. Uh, hold your phone uh, next to you. I think someone will try to uh, contact with you. From my point of view, and from uh, my decision is to contact with the police, and there's no point with talking uh, in talking with you once again. Thank you very much for this conversation. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, I don't think I have to go any further in any explanations. Uh, this was it. The police was here. Uh, police have refused to assist in this matter. They would not even contact uh, owner of the place. Pretty much I have heard the same thing entire evening. Uh, I did call on uh, several uh, occasions. I tried to get uh, to police administration, to anything, but uh, at no available, there's nothing you can possibly do with them. And pretty much that what also makes me believe, understand, and see that it was prior to that I have spoken to the female dispatchers that this whole thing was engineered, designed by the police departments. Uh, four police officers declined to assist, and I have audio recorded this stuff. They have gone ahead to further even push issue. Why am I in Poland? Uh, I can go elsewhere. Why am I? Why have I requested? Tak. Okay. Tak. Why have I requested for the political protection asylum here in Poland and so on? Okay. Światło. Right back. Dziękuję. Uh, wie macht der Klutsch? Ja. Okay, dziękuję. And so, uh, what did happen is nothing happened. Uh, it's right now almost midnight here. I did lost about three hours and a half of time. Uh, I don't have a place to go. 
But this is not the only incident that have happened. This is not the only incident that took place. There is a bunch of other incidents. It's beautiful snow here. It's snow in Poland. Uh, that I should just stay outside on the street and wait for someone to call me. This is... Uh, wow. Uh, three hours, basically, to, to waste like this. But what the hell, we can do that. Uh, you probably see these lights right there. We have this for about a month already. Uh, it's uh, there's like a laser lights. I don't know if you can see them or not. But there's a laser that is positioned and we have this bizarre stuff and so on and so forth I was asked by the police questions like why am I at this place? why am I at immigration place? why am I at immigration place at all? Why don't I just go to another location? And so on and so forth. Um, totally, totally bizarre. And this is supposed to be people specialized in, in, in a domestic disputes and stuff like this. People um, with law enforcement background. Four of them work here and have done absolutely nothing about it. All right, we'll see what's going to happen. Uh, if I go inside of that room, which I'm not going to go into it, um, you know, just about anything can happen. So, um, as well as one, I'm going to stay out. Uh, the way I see this later is the provocation. This is a police provocation coming from the police. Today uh, I did complain about quite a few issues in respect to poisoning at this place, which involves the owner of this complex here. And I also compl uh, complained about the Polish immigration to a Polish ombudsman for human rights. And uh, sure enough, this is what I got when I came back. But this is not going to stop. Uh, now the complaints are going to go further. I am going to create a few other complaints uh, and so on and so forth. We'll see where the whole thing is going to take. Uh, again, December the 4th, 2018, Grotniki in Irwich.